Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multiplying radical expressions. So I was given this expression. Square root of 5 times negative 4 times the square root of 20. Well, since this is all multiplication, let's all bring it together. Okay, the square roots we can put inside, just have one, one big square root, and the negative 4 out front. So we have a negative 4 here times the square root of 20 times 5. So now let's go break this down. Let's go break down the 20. Well, 20 is just 4 times 5, and 4 is 2 times 2. So really, whatever 20 times 5 is can break down to be 2 times 2 times 5 times 5. Well, let's go circle our pairs. We have a pair of 2s right here, and we have a pair of 5s. So a pair of 2s and a pair of 5s. We bring it to the outside of square roots. We have negative 4 times the pair of 2s times a pair of 5s. Okay, represented by a single outside square root. There's nothing left inside the square root, so we don't have to write the square root anymore. We're done. It kind of disappears there. Okay? So now we have, well, 2 times 5 is 10, times negative 4 is negative 40, and so our final answer here is just a negative 40, and that's what this simplified to be. So let's recap. We're given square root of 5 times a negative 4 times the square root of 20. We combine that by putting square root of 5 and square root of 20 together to be under 1 square root of 20 times 5, which I guess the multiplication got disappeared up there. 20 times 5. Then we broke down uh, 20 to be 2 times 2 times 5, and then times the 5 that was just up there. Then we circled our pairs, a pair of 2s and a pair of 5s, brought them to the outside of singles, outside the square root. There's nothing left inside the square root, so it disappeared. And then negative 4 times 2 times 5 gives us our final answer here of just a negative 